right, so we're gonna get rolling on the greenhouse finally. The, the first step is getting the, uh, the four corner posts set. The first one's easy because you just stick it in the ground. Um, the second one's you gotta do a bit more measuring to make sure everything's plumb after it goes up. But man, if this were a cartoon, it'd be so much easier. I could just take each one of these posts, stick them into the ground, put all the pieces together, throw the covering over the top, wiggle wire it in, we'd be done. But it's not, so we'll keep you posted on the Not topic. a cartoon, sorry, hon. <laughs> So these are what are called the corner posts. There's going to be four of these and then in between each of these there's still a post that goes in every four feet and that's what the rafters are built off of. But this is going to be the main rafter here, the end rafter. So once we get all of the, uh, the corner posts in the ground we got to make sure everything is square and exactly dimensioned off. Then we can take and tie a string to the top of this to the other corner post and we can start setting all of the ones in the middle. I sure hope it's just passing over. Are we getting a big storm? Did the weather say that or what? I didn't either. It was so hot. It just dropped like 30 degrees. Within one second. Which typically like tornado weather, but right, I know. doesn't seem it seems like it's just gonna like blow over. I hope. Hope we don't get any hail. Everything's looking so good. No, we don't want anything to get, get ruined. kids. Look and saw your different things in the garden. We are going to be starting and clean the garden. Clean the garden. Clean the garden. And like taking the bad leaves off or taking the bad flowers off. This is what we do. If there's like a flower that's not looking good, we just pick it off. Like this one. This and one if you see a looking good. Yep, you pull that one off. And like this flower, if anybody sees this flower, this flower is oh, brand new. This, yeah, See, I'm trying to, this flower is brand new, so you don't take it off, so you keep it. It's going to be called so Gardening for kids. kids. So just little lessons, things that we teach the girls in the gardens, little basics and that, that are good for kids to, to learn and things that they can do. And things that they can help their parents with. Right. <laughs> Little Fuzzy's starting trouble down there, aren't you, Fuzz? Oh, she's getting real playful. <laughs> okay, so flowers like these, you should you should pick them, put them on the ground, and if you have a flower pile, put them there. This is the flower pile the girls are talking about, right, Sayla? Is that where you're putting everything to? Outdoor sink. Mine My hands are already them. clean, but are yours good now? Yeah. Okay. Clean them. Perfect. Clean them. Now we just got to air dry them. Sayla took um, a head diver off of the couch last night yep. onto our tile floor. She smacked her head and was bleeding. 
Oh, yeah, just a little bit. We had to watch her all night, so she slept in our room. going up to my head. Yeah. So this will be something that you girls can can teach about when we look at this at this flower here. Any of the flowers that are shriveled and droopy and brown, those are the ones that we pull off. I see one, one, I see one, I see one. Where? Oh, right there? Grab that one, Sayla. There, good job. Here's another one here. I'm getting the itch to pick these snapdragons. We're gonna cut them and put them into some vases pretty. When you cut the flower, it allows it to bush out and produce more flowers. So it's actually really good for these guys. And these ones are specifically for cutting these snapdragons. The variety name is Madame Butterfly and they have a beautiful double flower on them. I did the rose and the bronze and it's just absolutely gorgeous. If you see any of this marker on me, that's from last night. I was apparently drawing and I got marker everywhere on me. Yeah, you were on another drawing mission, weren't you? <laughs> All right, girls, it's time to start getting ready get for ready. church. We got crazy hair day. Uppy time. Uppy time. I'll be there when you need me. Well, they just got home and Jason got them and W so Mama doesn't have to make lunch. Is it good? I found fun spots on that and I ate them all. You ate them all? <laughs> There's more over there. Is there? Uh, That's mine. Mama's? Yes! Cheeseburgers, chicken, and cupcakes. And there's Sayla's. Jason's going to be putting these lights in that have been out for how long? Over a year? Yeah, it's been over a year without light. So it's in our powder bathroom too, where everybody who comes over uses this bathroom and it's super dark. I've been begging Jason and constantly reminding him to get, get lights. So two weeks ago, I was like, that's it. I'm going to Lowe's. I'm gonna just pick up whatever kind of lights. Picked them up and yep. they've been sitting over there. And this morning I said, all right, hon, that's enough. Otherwise, I'm calling your dad to come over and sell them. <laughs> yep, it's actually happening right now. And I'm on the potty. Sayla's on the potty, not literally, just standing there. That's all. <laughs> and I'm drawing. And you're doing but your drawing videos. The final touch. Hopefully when I flip this switch, we have light for the first time in years. We'll see. And they said, let there be light. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's a miracle. We haven't had light in here in a really, Yay! really long time. Yay! Shout hooray! Yep, we finally have light in there. See, in my own bathroom. <laughs> Oh, it's a miracle. Well, we just got done making slime. Lana made a bubble. A bubble. Wow. Sailor's yeah. trying to make a bubble. And at the end of the day, and later this morning, I got a silver tooth. Yep, Lana had a dentist appointment today. A silver. Lana got a silver tooth. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, we couldn't afford a gold one, so. My tooth is feeling a little better. Is it? Do you need any medicine or are you good? 